Discerning Hearts presents How to Pray, A Practical Guide to the Spiritual Life by David Torkington. Chapter 3. The School of Love. Repent and be baptized every one of you for the forgiveness of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. St. Peter, Acts 2, 38. are made of body and spirit, so when they love, their loving is both spiritual and physical at one and the same time. However, God has no body, so when he loves, he loves with his spirit alone. As a mark of reverence, therefore, his love has traditionally been called the Holy Spirit. The spiritual life is the expression used to describe a new way of life, organized by someone who wants to start turning towards God regularly to receive his love or his Holy Spirit. First and foremost, this means building a prayer life that leads through meditation to contemplation, where a person is more open to receiving God's love than ever before. However, to begin with, it is necessary to set aside quality, daily, space and time, as Jesus did, to practice turning to God regularly. Most people give up before they've even started because they think that distractions make prayer impossible. The truth is, we would never learn to pray without them. Each time we turn away from a distraction to turn back to God, we perform an act of selflessness. If we repeatedly perform acts of selflessness in this way, a habit is gradually formed, a habit of selflessness. This enables us to be open to receive the love of God for ever longer periods of time. That is why prayer is called a school of divine love. It is the place where loving is learnt by those who are prepared to go on giving day after day. Although it may seem, at least to begin with, that they receive nothing in return. The word repentance is used in the scriptures to describe the act of turning back to God despite the distractions that try to turn our attention elsewhere. That is why Jesus continually called people to repent and to repent continually so that they could be continually open to receive the self-same love that he received. Prayer, then, is a school that specializes in teaching the selflessness that enables a person to love God in such a way that his love can be received in return. The more selflessness is learned in this way, then the more a person is able to experience the love that they receive. And it is this love that gradually transforms them, making them more and more lovable, not only to God, but also to everyone else. You've been listening to David Torkington on How to Pray, A Practical Guide to the Spiritual Life. For more episodes in this series, visit discerninghearts.com or you can find it in our free Discerning Hearts app or on many other streaming platforms.